How's it going, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So I'm out here at the range, and I want to share with you a quick tip, what I do range day-wise and even operational-wise, like when I'm out there actually doing stuff right before I step off or my team steps off or whoever I am with. If you're performing a certain task, you normally will go through PCCs or PCIs, which are pre-combat checks or pre-combat inspections. So normally in the military, you'd line up and, you know, get online and you check over everything. So normally you have a list. Lists are good too. But what I like to do and what I was taught by some very experienced people is they literally start from the head and they just work themselves down about all of their gear checking each other. Now it helps if you have a buddy next to you that can also check over your stuff that you can't see, but you double check. But mainly it goes literally physically putting hands on the items that you need to take with you. So for instance, I'm out here at the range, I'm doing some training, just getting some reps in, but I'm gonna go through the same process. So that would be, hey, check my ear pro. Does my ear pro work? Let's turn them on, you know, turn them up. Okay, cool. Do I got iPro on me? Physically touch the iPro, you know, go down. Okay, my straps, I'm good to go. They're not tearing. You're looking at stuff. Is everything where it needs to be? Cool. If it's operational, actually do a comm status check with your team, your talk, whoever it is that you're going to need to communicating, your backup codes. Make sure you have your codes on you. Like, hey, do you know what frequencies you're running? Do you have your map overlays on you? Do you know where you're going? Rally points, other things like that. Admin-wise, check over that stuff. Check your magazine. Physically look in there. Cool. I have ammos. Ammo, push down on that. Hey, it's maxed out. Perfect. Do that to every single mag. Start working your way over as well. Hey, cool. I got my chem sticks in my proper locations. I know where they are. My tourniquets are down properly. I have Israeli bandage on this side. I got dump pouches on either side for, you know, extra equipment or water, stuff like that. Check to see if you physically have your water bottles on you. Going around or go down to the belt line, right? Okay, cool. I got this. I got some of my maps in there. Tourniquet, right? Magazine, cool. Other magazine. Go over to the other side. Checking the dump pouch specifically. Is there anything in it? Is it open? Is it closed? Going over my medical. Do I have access from both sides? Both sides are good to go. Belt buckle, is it properly done? Yes, work your way down. You know, check your actual pockets. Are your pockets buttoned down? Especially these ones, these um, Expedition Pants by TrueSpec, they have straps and zippers on them. Make sure they're sealed up. Go all the way down to your feet. Check your shoelaces, right? Because honestly, that's a pain if you're out actually performing something, you have your shoelaces. Make sure they're double knotted and stuffed away. And then normally, lastly, what I come up back up to is my weapon system. So I always normally do my secondary, which is first, okay, reload from the emergency reload location. And then normally I will take another magazine available, if I have another one, say for this, for instance, and place back in that emergency load. So everything configured the way it is into the holster, double lock exactly how your duty would be. Then go over to your weapon system. Make sure you're checking the lights, the lasers, optic. Is it good? Is it cracked? Is there anything wiggling on it? Stuff like that. Anything falling off? And then go ahead, do the same thing. Pull a magazine from your primary reload location. And then you can go back to another location and refill it. Now you're good to go. Now, depends if you want to rack around and stuff like that, depends on SOP, but I'm just getting the point across. Cool, so now I'm fully kitted up, ready to rock and roll. I check over my buddy, he checks over me again, and we're off. Now there's more detailed stuff you can get into. Hey, checking your you know, physical batteries. Do you have flex cuffs on you? You know, detainment options. You know, there's all kinds of other stuff. Whatever gear that you have, run with it, inspect it on the spot, make sure everything's good to go. So if you do that in practice, as in the range here, you're more than likely gonna do it in a real world scenario too. Now, of course, different scenarios are different aspects. You're not gonna be in a home invasion and be like, okay, cool, got all my, no, you're gonna re like respond appropriately. But if you have the time to set it up, definitely accomplish it. It will help you in the future because that's when you see a lot of stuff at the range is people like go to their first drill and they're like, okay, first drill. They come up, boom, okay, trans transition to secondary. They come up, click. I 
I forgot to put a magazine in there. Exactly. It happens a lot. And I guarantee you've been there because I've been there too. So just trying to eliminate that from happening in a real world situation. But that's the tip that I have for you. I've been using it for a while. Very experienced people taught that to me and I have continued to use it. So if you guys like this kind of stuff, pass it on random knowledge that I just use every day um, here at the range and whatnot, definitely hit like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. There is Patreon available, PayPal if you want to donate. If you want to get into you know kind of the nitty gritty of the channel, I'd definitely like to see you over there. If not, just hit that subscribe button and keep watching videos because we're going to keep pushing them out. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day.